Hi everybody! It's Monday, so it's time for our Bodabra Facebook Live. I'm Sandy Sandler and I have Sasha helping me. She's filming today. And we are going to do some fun fall projects. I'm going to start with a really cool centerpiece and then we're going to make um, a wreath bow, a little tiny wreath, and a so hair bows. So it's sort of a mix of everything today, but um, let's see what, what's going on here. Something's going on with my, um, my, oh, here we go. Okay, so here we go. And then now I can see your comments. So thanks you guys so much for joining me. Thank you everybody who commented. Hi Marlene, hi Regina, hi Edna. And oh, you guys, one really, really cool thing. We're going to start doing some um, Bodabra PR with local news stations. So if you use Bodabra or if Bodabra inspired you for your home business and you do wreaths with Bodabra or you make bows or you make hair bows or whatever, please PM me and let me know so um, I can be in touch with you. So we're going to get started with this really cool wreath bow. So I'm starting, I like to be lazy sometimes and just start on my roll without actually measuring. So we will be able, I will be able to tell you, I've already put my Bodabra bow wire and I need a little extra because this is gonna be a super sized bow. So I'm gonna start with my 21 inch wide mesh. I'm just gonna tuck it in and I'm gonna twist it. And then I'm gonna fold it back. And you don't really need to twist the mesh, but I do because, um, I want it to um, scrunch down in the bodabra better. And if you don't twist it, then it tends to pop out. So I'm just gonna scrunch these down and then take my scissors. Hi, Gail and Carmen from Washington, hi. And you guys don't forget to say you want to win. If you wanna win a roll of our Bodabra scrunchy ribbon, we'll be announcing the winner at the end of the show, but you have to be on in order to win. So, and we need you to get your um, address to us right away so I can send you um, now, just in case you're curious, these loops are about 10 inches wide. So I'm gonna scrunch that in. Then I have these really pretty peonies, and we're just gonna put the peony into my Bodabra. So I think this will be a really nice centerpiece. And we'll shape everything when we're done. And then I've got these two really pretty ribbons. They are 28 inches long, and I've already dovetailed them, and I'm gonna take the two and put them in and have them going this way. And then I have the exact same two ribbons, the same length, and I'm gonna put them going the other direction. Then, um, oh, Jill, thank you, Edna, thank you. You guys, thanks so much for sharing. As I say every week, you guys are like my marketing team, and when you share, it's so amazing for me. So now I'm going to just take this ribbon here. I'm not sure how long I made it, so let me just measure it out for you. So again, I have two the two ribbons, and I'm gonna put them together. So we have a yard of exactly two yards. So I'm gonna put the green behind, and I just think these ribbons look so pretty together. So the first thing I'm gonna do is twist my ribbon because I want the green, I need to make sure that the right side of this ribbon's on the outside. So I'm just gonna fold it back and grab my two ribbons. What I love about Bodabra is it makes it really easy to work with a double loop bow, um, with a double ribbon bow, I mean, two ribbons. Except it would be nice if I had them even here. Okay, there we go. So now I'm gonna push this back over. Betsy, thank you so much for sharing. And Jill, thank you for sharing. And my gosh, Gail, so you've got a big trip coming up. That is gonna be so much fun. And what a great place to be in December. And she's gonna be in Australia and New Zealand on a cruise, I believe, for like a month, I think Gail said. So now I'm gonna fold this back over and twist and bring it back over here. And then I'm just going to fold it back over 
And Betsy, thank you for sharing. And then I'm just going to make my last loop as a half of a loop. So that'll be my little center loop. And I have a little extra ribbon here I don't need, so I'm just gonna clip that. And now I'm gonna take my bow dabber bow wire and bring it up here and then take my other side. And because I folded it in half, I have a slip knot. I'm just gonna pull it really tightly through my slip knot. I'm gonna pull it out of the bow dabber. Now I'll separate the ends and bring them around to the back and tie a knot. Oops, I cannot believe I actually broke my wire. That rarely, rarely ever happens. So I'm going to have to bring this through. I cannot believe that happened. All right, you guys, I'm gonna go and make this bow again really quickly. So if you weren't watching, you're gonna get to see me do this from the start. I'm gonna go a little quicker but I'm just gonna lay this in into my bow dabra. Then because I've already got this all measured out, I'm gonna just scrunch this down into my bow dabra. So now you can see how I go when I'm, I don't have a whole bunch of people watching. Oh, and then I need to put, uh, this is not next, the peonies are next. So we'll put the peony in here and but you know what, this is live, and when you're live, stuff happens. <laughs> so, oh my gosh, so we'll put it this way. And then I'm gonna take this one and bring this in. Oh, well, Edna was just saying she got a good deal on, at a craft store closing this week. That's so great. It's so sad though, is that, I'm, I'm not sure what the, which craft store it is. Um, so now we'll cope, but it's always sad when the stores close, I think. So now I'm gonna take my two yards here. We're gonna start all over. So I'm just gonna make a little loop here and I'm gonna fold it over. Where can I buy the Bodabra? Carolyn wants to know, she's oh. from Ohio. Oh, Carolyn, you can get it at Michael's, um, Joann's, uh, Hobby Lobby, on Amazon.com, Walmart.com. So thanks, Sasha. Sometimes yeah. when I'm doing this, I can't see all of the comments yeah, as they works. come. So got a lot of people watching today. So that means there were a lot of people who saw me mess up. <laughs> but it happens. And if you've watched me for a long time, you know that usually the wire is like the really strong and reliable so just it must have been a flaw so we're gonna make bring this one back over here and I'm gonna just fold this back over here and as you can see we've got a lot of stuff in this bodabra right now and I'm actually gonna bring this around here because I made a different size loops than I did last time so I'm just gonna loop that under and then we're just gonna have the two little loops in the middle. And we're gonna try this one more time. Then we'll take the Bodabra bow wire and we're gonna pull it through. Hi, Linda. Yeah, Jill, Amazon does have them at really good prices. Um, and you don't have to pay for shipping. I can't even compete on our website with Amazon. So, and then tie a knot. But with Michaels, you don't have to, you know, you can just go buy, they have good pricing too. So um, tie a knot and then I can leave my wire there, but now I'm gonna shape out my bow. So I'm gonna bring these down here to the front and just kind of shape everything in different directions. I'm gonna bring the green out a little bit so that you um, can see. Now, this one, literally, I created from what I brought up with me. Viv and I are still in Vail, Colorado. I still don't have a car. For those of you that didn't see, didn't hear last week, my car went, died. <laughs> like, I guess that's the best thing to say. And I'm up in the middle of Colorado, and I'm going to need a car to go home. But because of all the Bodabra stuff that I brought up here, but... Um, we should be good. And then I have to go car shopping, which I can't think of anything worse when I go home. So 
So we just kind of tuck these under. What type of mesh are you using? This is a, de it's called a deco mesh and it's 21 inches wide. And so now if you can see, I can kind of hold this up, but this is meant to be a centerpiece. Um, so let me know what you guys think. Oh, and the, thank you. Blitzy carries it online. Thanks, Mary Cole, that's great to know. And Gail, thank you. I know, I love this ribbon too. Oh, and when I get back to Las Vegas and our store is open again, I'm gonna have some amazing deals on ribbon. So probably not next week, but the week after our store will be back open and we're gonna have some really cool ribbon deals. So definitely stay tuned for that. So now I'm gonna take my centerpiece and I'm gonna put this aside and we're gonna pull out our mini bow. Oh boy, what a mess I made. Pull out our mini bow dabra, and we're going to make a Tootsie Roll wreath. So I saw these Tootsie Rolls in the store yesterday and just figured I needed to get them to make something with them. So I'm not gonna need my wand here. So I've already made this one and put it on my wreath, but I'm gonna show you how I made it. I'm gonna take a little bit of my bow dabra bow wire. I'm gonna fold it in half and lay it down into my mini bodabra and just tuck the ends. Hi, Jeannie Adams. Thank you, Jill. I, you know, I'm really proud. I came up with it just this morning. I didn't really know what I was gonna do. So these are five inches long and I'm gonna start by making my orange one. So I'm gonna put my Tootsie Pop in first and then I'm gonna take my, um, my brown. These are six inches long and I've just dovetailed the ends. If you're new to bow dabra or new to bow making, to dovetail, you just fold your um, ribbon in half and then you just cut at an angle from the fold to the edge and that gives you the nice little dovetails. So I'm gonna put this in here and then I have one more ribbon that we'll put in going this way. And then I'll just take my bow dabra bow wire and pull it through my slip knot Whoops, don't need my finger in there. Put tight while it's still in my mini, pull it out. I'm gonna separate my ends and bring it around to the back. And I'm just gonna tie a knot and double knot it. And then I'm gonna clip the ends and um, I want my lollipop to be, my Tootsie Pop to be behind it, but you could use any lollipop. I just thought that the color of the, the orange and the browns were really fall. And so I'm just gonna leave, just put my Tootsie Pop right into my wreath. And I actually wanna put that more in front. So we'll bring that down. Just kind of have to find a good spot to stick it in there. So there we have those. And then now I'm gonna make one more bow. So take one more piece of bow wire. Oh, Michelle, I'm so glad you could join. And thank you so much for sharing. And Nick, thank you. I'm so excited you love the Bodabra. And now I'm gonna tuck this underneath. And this time I'm going to work from the back front. And we'll put this ribbon in here and put my orange in here because I think that'll look pretty. And then I've cut off part of my brown Tootsie Pop and I'm gonna put that in the front here and then just pull this through the slip knot. I just think this would be a really cute little hostess gift for somebody who has kids. It's like so inexpensive. You're basically just using scrap ribbon. And I got a little, like, I think it was a set of seven Tootsie Pops at um, the grocery store the other day for 30 cents. So you can't really beat that. Oh, I'm gonna tie this one on, I don't wanna cut it yet. So, take this and kind of just shape it. And now I'm just gonna tie this to the top. And tie a knot. And double knot it. And then, Uh, let's see. So, Scarlett, I'm so glad you're here. Thank you so much. It'd be better late than never. And Edna, that's so awesome to be organizing your craft room. I'm dreading getting home and my organization I'm going to have to do. I think this guy almost looks like a ghost. So let me know what you guys think. I thought this was so simple, easy, and it's just a cool little hostess gift. 
Um, you could even, they're so inexpensive and quick to make, you could literally put them on a charger at everybody's place setting as sort of a party favor. So now I'm gonna put my little Halloween wreath aside and um, we are going to make a hair bow out of, um, oh, it's so dirty here. I've gotta just wipe off this. Um, this material is really just um, something that I would have probably thrown away. There's like a hole in it. There's not a lot you can do with it, but it's five inches wide and it's about 12 inches long. And I have this little cut in it, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna still use this for my hair bow. Bonnie, thank you so much. I'm so excited you have both bodabras. And now let's cut this in half and fold this. And we have um, Katie from Chattanooga. Oh, cool, Katie. I'm so happy to have you join us. And for those of you who are new, um, oh, let me get started. And then, so I'm just gonna take the right side of my ribbon, put it down into my mini bodabra. Then I'm gonna make a loop bring it back over, and again, take the right side and just scrunch that down into my bodabra. And then I'm gonna just glance at it here and scrunch it in so it's even. Now, if you have the bodabra um, measuring tool, then you would be able to tell you've got a little bit about two and a quarter inches on each loop. And then all I'm gonna do here is just pull this through my slip knot, pull it out of my bodabra. I'm gonna separate the ends and I'm gonna tie a knot. Edna asked if that was fabric. It's actually a ribbon that I bought years ago. It's a wired ribbon that it really has a fabric look to it. So now what I'm gonna do is take um, my grow grain hair clip and these are already covered, I buy them covered so I don't have to do the work because they would never look this good. Um, and I want to put the top towards my bow and I'm just going to bring the wire around a couple times. Hold, I have to hold it open or the clip won't let me do it. So I'll bring it around this one a couple times and then I'm going to do the same thing with the other one and just keep bringing it around. 200 viewers. Oh, wow. And then now I'm going to, this is, that's amazing, you guys. Thank you for sharing and letting everybody know. So now I'm going to go underneath here and bring it around. And I'm just going to tie a knot. And we're really getting into Bodabra season. And as I mentioned at the beginning, if you use the Bodabra in your business, please um, PM us and let me know. So go in here. So now I'm just gonna kind of pull this out because it's sort of, I just think this is gonna be, and I'm just gonna clip this end here because we don't need to see it. And I'm going to take one of my adhesive dots and put that right in the center. And you have this really super, super simple hair bow. So we're getting ready in about five minutes. So make sure you're still in line. We're gonna pick a winner who's gonna win a roll of our Bodabra scrunchy ribbon. So we have red and silver and gold and it only can get it from us. So definitely um, make, sure, make sure that you definitely say, I want to win. Because in five minutes, we're going to be picking a winner. And also we are, if, you, if you're seeing the replay on YouTube, um, we're definitely going to be picking every month on the 15th of the month we pick a winner for whatever the prize of that month is. So on the 15th we'll be picking a winner from the replay group. Um, anyway, you guys, thank you so much for sharing, for everything. So now I'm going to make a wreath bow. So I'm going to take, and I've kind of just held everything together because it can get messy in here. And I'm going to take my Bodabra bow wire, I'm going to I'm gonna probably need a little bit more of it because I'm gonna need it if I wanna tie it onto a wreath. So um, I'm just working with the ribbon that I have up here in Vail, um, but we have many, many more ideas. So I've got, these are cut, I believe this is 15 inches. So 
Um, I haven't dovetailed the ends on this. You don't have to if you don't want to, but this is how you dovetail. You just fold the ends and you just cut at an angle and that gives you your dovetail. So I'm gonna fold it in half and just scrunch that into my bodabra. Then I have this piece that's 24 inches. I'm gonna take the right side and put that down into my bodabra. I'm gonna bring this back around, take the right side of the ribbon and put it down into the bodabra and then scrunch that. And that's gonna be my first loop. Then I have this piece and I haven't dovetailed the ends um, so we'll go ahead and do that really quick here. So dovetail that and dovetail this one and just scrunch that in. So these are all 12 inches long and the loop pieces, take the right side, put that down, fold it over, bring it back, scrunch it in and then take the center. So we're using a bunch of different ribbon so here I have um, my leaf ribbon, and again, it's 12 inches long, and we'll just really quickly dovetail this. And that out there. I am just making a mess. And then I'll take this, which is my 24 inch piece, take the right side, put it down, fold it back over, scrunch it in, and then also, you guys, we have a Bodabra blog at bodabrablog.com. Whoops. And um, it'll be easier to do these together. And at bodabrablog.com, every week we have at least like two or three new projects. And every Wednesday, I do a new video. So, and as you guys can see, I'm kind of shaping it as I put it into my Bodabra. So we have new projects every single week on bodabrablog.com. And if you haven't subscribed or liked us on Facebook, please click, click the follow button. And now I'll quickly dovetail this one. And, you know, Pam, thank you so much. It is, it's not me. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Bodabra. It's just, it is really easy. The only thing is I have, I have to admit that over the years of doing this, I have become more creative. Allison, all the way from Australia. Cool. So this piece again is 24 inches. So I'll take the right side and put that down and bring it around here and scrunch that in. And now scrunch this in here. And I'm just going to finish off. Um, this is my tail, so let me just dovetail the ends here. And I believe we are going to be picking a winner really, really, really soon. I know, and isn't that amazing? I'm so excited. So we've got, like, we have 344 people viewing right now live, and we'll be picking our winner. So again, 24 inches. So I'm just going to take the right side, put that down in here. Bring this around, take the right side and scrunch it in. And you know, you can use any ribbons for this um, and then just take the center. And then this last piece that I have is 16 inches long and I'm gonna take the right side. Nick Cranicos, you won, congratulations, Nick. So Nick, please PM me and let me know um, your address so that I can get your scrunchy ribbon out to you. Then take the right side, put that down and then go down here in the center and we'll give everything a really good scrunch. And now um, I'll bring this through the center of my slip knot, pull it tight while it's still in my bodabra. And I'm gonna separate the end. And I just wanna wish Terry Sproul an amazing, amazing trip to Peru. Because I understand she's going tomorrow. So that should be incredible. I can't wait to see pictures and hear about it. So we'll tie another knot. And then this will be used to tie it onto our wreath. Um, but we're gonna just shape these first two loops out. And then this here. And I'm just going to put my fingers in each of the loops and kind of um, just pull them in different directions. And just keep shaping here. And it's a lot of loops in here. 
So this is how you would make like a terry, people call it a terry bow in the Bodabra. Um, it's pretty simple. I like this because you can pre-cut everything and have people helping you that have never made a bow before. Because this is about as simple as simple gets. So just keep shaping this out and bring this and puff it. And you can go on shaping forever, but one of the things that I learned is I don't complete shaping until I actually tie it onto the wreath or the package because then you're shaping on a flat surface versus in the air. So you guys, I just wanna thank everybody who shared, who followed us, who came and saw us for the first time. I'm Sandy Sandler, the creator of the Bodabra, and every Monday I do Facebook Lives for you. And next week, because we're getting into, we're not getting into, but we're in football season, we're going to be doing some cheer bows and fun hair bows. So thanks again so much everybody for watching and sharing, and I'll see you next week. Bye.